think Min Min players might actually opt to make uh, her left and right hook like literally L and R. Hmm. Like I think that'll end up being uh, like more standard for them. Like for example, it's just like thing. It'd actually be funny like to actually see a Smash character jump with the A button. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I don't, I don't understand how this character is like attacks work. She has no specials. She just has norm. <laughs> she just has all normals. Like you okay, could say that her so B buttons are special normals, but like you know they're buttons. So like you punch with the left, like the like her regular Smash normals are her left, left hook, right? I think it's, yeah, it's her, no, her, her right hand is the one that changes, those are the smashes. Yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, left. So her left is her, like, normal, and then, uh, B button is, uh, B button is, like, all the other ones. But, like, they operate, like, she has, she, she, she can nair with the B button. Like, she just did with that. It's really <laughs> weird. <laughs> what? Yeah, right? Uh, I'm having, I'm kind of having a tough time driving my head. Yeah, no, oh my if, God. if you play her, you'll be very confused. Okay, it actually makes a lot of things make a lot more sense than what you're explaining it. Because, like, I've fought multiple Min Min's and I've been like, this character feels weird. I don't really understand what the hell you're doing right now. Yeah, it's like, what is happening? So she's probably, so she just has, like, a very high skill cap kind of thing. I mean, I think it's just like, it's a, you just have to wire your brain differently to play her sort of thing. Mm. So it's like, if you can figure it out, great. Um, but yeah, like I think, like I, I kind of think that she might end up like playing with like L and R being like her normals just so that you have like, you can operate them separately. Because there's a lot of things that like you can do like in tandem. You don't have to wait for one to finish. Like you see, like she threw one, one punch and like while the other one was still like recoiling, like she threw out another one. Okay. So it's actually like really kind of weird. You got those little one-two combos. Yeah, exactly. I don't see that stage hazard making a little bit of a, of a comeback to end this person. But he really likes to give up stage, which is not a good thing to do against Ike. Uh, Ike really thrives on those uh, situations where he's trying to get back, and he has a lot of rewards. He catches that. Stage Hazard going for the up smash. Uh, I'm not really sure if that would have killed anyway. It's not, nothing to like. Man, this is Chonk. Holy. I didn't realize how much damage the ring did. Whew. Aria, just like that, it's an even game. Stage Hazard managing to take the second last stock. Pretty well. Yeah. So, so uh, Min Min, as far as I can tell, like uh, you know, even what Sakurai said, like in the direct, you know, she's a character that kind of struggles, like if you're able to get up close. The thing is, it's like when you're airborne, most of her uh, attacks really like don't cover it, except for the ram ram, which is that weird boomerang circle one where it like it goes out it and then back. up and back. Yeah. So like that one is what they'll use for the most part to like keep people from coming high but as you can see it's still front heavy so like if you're able to make it over that initial lump then you should be fine in fact i'm not actually sure how much of a hit like does it have a hitbox like all the way coming back i believe it does which it actually like makes it, it for pretty good coverage Is that oh, my. oh my god did they buff it they did buff it that's yeah. so funny they're like well we're gonna take away up, uh, ah, Nera, Nera up air. So let's just make up B really sick. I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about that change. To be honest with you. Ninety-eight. Ninety-eight almost did it. But, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Stage hazard fast fell immediately and ended up not having enough distance to get back. Yeah. Yeah, no, they down, uh, Sage Hazard down air. I'm not sure if that was by mistake or just to try to get down below as quickly as possible. Uh, one big weakness for this character that I have seen a lot is the fact that they have, like, no movement off stage. They have no movement options. If your character can put a hitbox between the ledge and them, 
especially when they're super below the stage, uh, they're pretty screwed for the most part. Who is? Min Min. Oh, so yeah, so like the interesting thing about like her anti edge guard game is that she she can just punch you in the air. <laughs> yeah, she can punch you in the air, but if your character has like a good enough second jump or uh, first jump to get above that, because they are still falling. Yeah, um, yeah. If you're able to come from above, but like this is a character that's gonna. Uh, she also has a tether recovery, so she is still like recovering relatively low. Um, so it's it, a matter it, of it's coverage. definitely a mix. Yeah. It's very easy, uh, depending on who your character is, it would be very easy to just drop in on her and try to get like that one stray hit that makes it so that she can't come back. Yeah. She doesn't get any height off of her up B, which makes her extremely vulnerable to like any stray hits that don't have knockback, because she'll just drop immediately and she's not for at that point. I mean, I'm, I imagine her up B gives her the same height like all the other like tethers. It's a tiny leap and then you're, that's it. <laughs> she gets like nothing out of it too. I mean, that's what the tether's for. Oh yeah, definitely is. Never forget, all oh. alarm brawl. Where we, we had a tether, and if he had less than three Pikmin, he's just like, I gotta throw you guys away, or else I'm not making it back. Because if he had Pikmin, he didn't get a hop. But if he had no Pikmin, he got a little hop and he hop up I, that actually had a good snap range. I actually didn't know that. Oh, you didn't know about that? No. Nope. Okay. Or maybe. And if I he forgot. had three. If you have three, if you have three or less Pikmin, it's better to just throw them all away because the snap range from the hop it gives you more distance than the tether itself. If you have less than three Pikmin. Interesting. You know, it's just a very interesting little thing, and oftentimes it's the best way to get rid of it. You know who's on screen? Olimar. You know who is? Min Min. Min Min and Ike. Yeah. All right, so uh, yeah. Sage Hazard attack. opting to pick uh, Town City. I kind of, I kind of agree with it. You know, she right. definitely is a character that wants range. Um, I think that she really uh, benefits from having platforms above her. So, actually, do you know what the bands were? Or uh, I didn't check. Okay, that's fine. So yeah, so I think she really benefits from platforms being above her. So if they, de if Vest degrees, Vey degree has the same uh, sentiment. Probably got rid of like Battlefield and Smashville or something. Yeah, it's understandable. I mean, Battlefield's a very strong stage for for uh, for Min Min because it allows her to like actually just stay under a platform no matter where she is. Yeah, it makes just it difficult. Kind of keep throwing it out projectiles. It makes it, it, makes it difficult, difficult for it to come her. down with an aerial and stuff. This stage, pass. however, only offers one setup where there's actually a platform that's directly above your head, and that's the other one, and that's only if you're in the center. So, like, the consideration of where you're standing on the stage is kind of huge, especially in this matchup. Where Ike wants to nail you to be able to ladder you to the heavens. So Mega's really good at that. I don't know about best three, though. Ooh, big. Good up smash. Town and City coming in clutch. Ooh. That was an F smash, right? Um, I think so. Or a side, a side special. I don't know. She punched oh, no, him with like, the bowling ball, so... You know, the, uh, that bowling ball gives me, like, real, real slow Hadouken vibes, where it's like, oh, this thing's slowly coming towards you, and it's gonna murder you if it hits you. Don't get hit by it. Oh, that was enough smash. Yeah, when the little dragon laughs at you. It just spits at you. Like, you see, like, one of the biggest things that Vess has been doing is he's been, uh, punishing the stage hazard for swinging when there's nothing to hit. Ooh. Okay. Good recovery. Nice. Good wait from stage hazard. What a grab. <laughs> what a grab indeed. <laughs> okay. You know what? Good read. Hilarious. I respect it. I like that. Alright. The dragon is powered up. I uh, actually have no idea what that means. But she's dead, so we're not going to find out. The secret continues. I think it just shoots stronger lasers at that point. Oh, okay, it's just not like a like a buff or anything. I'd be very happy I mean, if it just it's shoots, not a buff. I think it just shoots stronger lasers. So like it, uh, I mean, it's technically a buff. I'm sure the power, the, the bowling ball is stronger at that point too. Like it turns black and has electricity. But I don't know what, what what activates it. Whether it's getting a kill with a smash or it's um. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Oh. We went for the dragon's breath again. 
Uh, Sage Hustle is doing a really good job of reading those high recoveries. That's the reason. Stop going for them. Whoa, oh, that's looking pretty terrible cool. DI. And that's death. My man's went extra deep, just... really wanted something to happen, but... I've never actually seen this victory screen before. Yeah. <laughs> it's... Oh, dude, her eyes are trippy. What the hell? Yep. Hey, Cinder Slash. Welcome to the stream. Did I not click? And Vulgar Kaiju. And, wow, there's a lot of people. Hey guys, hope you've been enjoying the stream so far. Hugs and kisses. Oh, apparently, uh, Cod's lost to Leon. Uh, we also have, um... Oh man, here comes Richie Punches in the face. Yeah, I can beat up. Hilarious. <laughs> This is up 1-0 versus Neil Vanquisher. I think I'm gonna. I want to have Louis Jesus versus Zardoz on stream next. All right. We'll get more Min Min. More Mun Mun. Where are we going, guys? Three, two, oh, we're going to Battlefield, so that was go. not it was not best as banned because it was actually his counterpick. All right, interesting. Um, like I said, I can totally see why Sage Hazard would leave the stage open because I do think that this is going to benefit uh, Min Min. Like, I, get, I understand why Vestigree would pick this stage, you know, because, like, it helps Ike extend his combos and stuff. Although, I don't know how much lo how much it's really going to do that now that the uh, Nair has incre increased knockback because, like, at the later percent, it's just going to be too far for it to matter. But again, like I said, for for Min Min, like now she can, she can uh, throw out like the ram ram to like shoot and cover like above in front, and then use the platform above so that if people come down with an area they can't pass through and actually hit her. It's gonna make it a lot more surgical to try and catch her. Oh shoot! Yeah, Vestigree wanted to get the uh, the upbeat kill again, probably wanted to stuck up a uh, stage hazard, but they were facing the wrong way anyways. Yeah. By the way, her down air. What are you doing? CSS, but he's gonna eat that forward smash like a dummy. Yeah, no, it's like one of those situations where you're like, I'm charging this mistake. I'm charging I'm gonna, this I'm gonna mistake. Commit. <laughs> you never done that? You yeah. never inputted a smash by mistake and you're like, I'm gonna charge this and hope that you're big dummy. It's like, right it's now. like run into this, please. Thank you. Oh, let's go. Oh, oh my gosh, that was boy. so good. Yeah, that ram ram is like really fast. That's really effective, especially with characters with linear recoveries such as Ike. I need Stage Hazard to stop giving up stage control like, at, the mo at a moment's notice. He's got to stay back at all times. He doesn't care. He's just going to throw his disc. I mean, I get that, but it's like you got to... If you I give up stage I control like you. the way... <laughs> <laughs> it's like unless you're John Numbers and you have like a really good tool for getting off the ledge, you shouldn't. You probably shouldn't be doing that too much. She ain't got no soccer ball. She only got the ramen bowl. Ugh! Got a peanut shield right now. You know, Vestigree is gonna is going for it. He's like the best defense is a good offense. Shielding did not help me here. Her By the way, got I'm off. pretty sure her grab is actually like super slow. So it is pretty slow, but it also has crazy good range. No, it's got great range, but it just means it's like. Uh, it's something that's worth noting is that like sh you don't need to worry about grabs if you're like coming in on her shield like you'll probably have, yeah if you're coming on on shield like what are really her options yeah oh thanks Dom eighteen frames wow that is I, that's the slowest grab in the grabs? game. Yeah. 
Oh shoot. That's that's Kirby that's down nice. air range. Oh, oh my god. Ah. Run off there. Alright, yeah, we're gonna have uh We're gonna have Sardo versus Louis Jesus, so the Min Min train don't stop. Hell yeah. For no one. You get to learn more about this character by watching it. Eighteen frames. Eighteen. Eighteen what? frames, guys. That's wild. Eighteen! That might not be okay. Actually, no, she deserves it. So apparently Sourdough had drifting in his controller, and he's like, I fixed it by blowing on it. I'm like, oh yes, the IT secret. Yeah. It's out. <laughs> Much like cartridges, you can fix, uh... You can fix controllers by blowing on the control stick. I'm pretty sure Sourdough uses Joy-Cons. Oh or yeah, he, I at think least he might. Yeah, and other Joy-Cons have like a really like the way that they're 